Ollie here from Van Life Conversions and we're going to show you around our latest conversion set. Seb. Seb's a Citroen Relay L3H2 and inside it's a dinette style layout. Uh, on the roof we've got two Max Air fans, a 360 watt solar panel and inside there's some really nice features like a pocket hole bulkhead and a home cinema setup. So come inside and we'll show you around. When you enter the van from a sliding door, you've got a control column here. It's got two light switches, one which does the main lights in the van, and the second which is for the LED light bar. Separating the living space from the driving area, we've built this uh, pocket style bulkhead, which houses this door and this bolt at the bottom to lock it. It's a really nice feature as it adds a bit of privacy between the two areas. And if you want to transition, it's a simple case of sliding it behind the wall. So behind the driver's seat, we've got a shower room. We'll show you inside that. You can see the shower room is panelled white walls and we have some black hooks on the doors for towels and hanging coats and things. Inside the shower room, we use a Simplu, which is a composting toilet. And these are really great, especially when you want to go off grid for any period of time. At the bottom of the shower cubicle, you can also see there's a duckboard, which is really nice and just gives it a homely finish. For ventilation in the shower room, we have a micro hecky roof light in the roof and this provides some daylight and also just allows the ventilation when you're using the shower room. So next to the shower room, we have lots of storage space. This is a wardrobe, which you can see here. So the couple that own this van are going to be living in it for a period of time. So it's great to have room to store your clothes. All the doors and drawers are on magnetic hatches as well to stop them opening when driving. Underneath the wardrobe, there's a pull-out drawer, which is a huge space. And underneath this drawer, we've got a fridge. This couple really love to cook, and so we've got a really large fridge with them, which is 110 litres. It also has a freezer compartment as well. And next to the wardrobe, we have this, which is probably my favourite feature in this van, which is a full-size pantry. Again, lots of storage for food, especially dry goods and we've built these shelves so they can store a variety of different height items and these all pull out as well. On the kitchen unit we've got a European walnut butcher block style worktop which is really nice. We have these touch sensitive downlight LEDs to light up the cooking and prep area. The appliances are a Thetford triplex oven grill and three burner hob this is really good for cooking pizzas, cheese on toast, and obviously you've got three hob burners on the top. We have this central control column, which houses the control for the max fans, and also a 230 volt socket and a 12 volt socket next to it. The undermounted sink has an insert, which can be used as additional prep space We have added this flip up worktop to give you additional space when you're prepping your food. Inside the kitchen unit, we've added two pots and pans drawers, a bin cupboard, a cutlery drawer, and then this cupboard here, which is for your cleaning products. For storing your clothes, we've added these overhead cupboards. We've got four large cupboards on the passenger side. And two cupboards on the driver's side. We've also got this small shelf area, which houses a Max Air fan remote and the Wi-Fi router. We have put in a U-shaped dinette seating area for this fan conversion. This is a really sociable option. It allows multiple people to sit around the central dining table, which is on a lagoon style leg. This table collapses onto the battens to form the bed when you're ready to go to sleep. So on this dinette style bed, we've used a memory foam mattress to make our cushions from, so it'll give you a really comfortable night's sleep. We've also had them upholstered in this lovely mint green color fabric and they always have zips in so they're removable and washable too. 
in this area to make the most of the light we've installed two vent, universal vent windows, one on each side. And you can see that we've added these windowsills in the same wood that the walnut of the worktop is, which gives a really nice homely feel. Above the bed, we've also installed these two reading lights and these are on dimmable switches and have USB ports so you can charge your phone in bed. A new feature that we've installed into this van conversion, which is really cool, is a projector screen. So we've installed it into the underside of this overhead cabinet and we've installed a mount on the other overhead cabinet where the projector will sit. And so when you're in bed or you're watching a Netflix, you can just pull down the screen. We really like to use the Lagoon style table mount. This allows you to move the table around into different positions. It's really functional. So on all the windows in this van, the customer has decided to go for magnetic window covers. These are great, as you can see, because they stick there just by magnets and so can be easily removable. They're great for insulation and also black out the van at night. We've also added these lightweight curtains to the back of the van, which gives a really nice homely feel and just softens everything. And it's great for a bit of added extra privacy in the day if you've got the doors open. At the back of the van, we also have made this seat storage accessible from the back. So you can open this and have a large garage space underneath. <laughs> We've added this mosquito net to cover the sliding door. It has an opening down the center, which is held together by magnets. And it's a really nice feature. Above the kitchen unit, we've got some monitors. This one tells you your battery voltage and capacity. This one gives you a water level. So if you press the button, you see how much water is left in your fresh tank. And when your waste tank is full, this red LED will light up. There's also a heating element in these fresh tank to prevent freezing in the winter months. This level gauge is for your refillable gas bottle, which is also underslung. And when you press the power button, it will open up the solenoid so that you can run the gas in the van. So storage is such an important part of any van conversion. And this really handy hack our customers came up with, which we love. So the customer decided that they wanted to utilise pillowcase covers. And so this means that they can store their pillows for bedtime inside these covers. So it matches part of the furniture during the day and doesn't take up additional box storage space. everyone for watching we hope you enjoyed this van tour and we wish the owners of this van some lovely happy travels in it don't forget to press the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more van life conversions content thank you cheers